Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious seafood lasagna, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by preparing the ingredients. Dice one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, and one onion. Next, peel and devein 16 large shrimp. After you've peeled and deveined your shrimp, rinse them under cold water to make sure that they're completely clean. Then, cut the shrimp into small pieces. When you're finished, set your ingredients to the side. Next, in a large bowl, add 16 ounces of ricotta cheese, one egg, a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and one tablespoon of parsley. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your ricotta cheese mixture to the side. Next, we're going to make the seafood mixture. In a large pan over medium heat, add some olive oil and about one to two tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, add the shrimp you prepared before. Then lightly season the shrimp with Creole seasoning and paprika. You don't need to go too heavy on the seasonings because we will be seasoning the shrimp again later. Then saute the shrimp for around three minutes or until it is almost completely cooked. The reason why we're not completely cooking the shrimp is because it's going to continue to cook it in the oven when we bake the lasagna. Once you have finished sauteing the shrimp, turn off the heat and take them out of the pan. Next, in a large bowl, add the shrimp, 16 ounces of crawfish meat, and 16 ounces of lump crab meat. Then add a half a teaspoon of Old Bay, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your seafood mixture to the side. Next, in a pot full of water, add salt. Bring the water to a boil and then add a half a pound of lasagna noodles. Cook the noodles for 10 minutes. While the lasagna noodles are cooking, we're going to make the sauce. Over medium heat, melt one to two tablespoons of butter in the same pan you cooked the shrimp. Once the butter is melted, add a half a cup of diced onions and a half a cup of diced bell peppers. Saute the onions and bell peppers for 3 minutes. After the 3 minutes are up, add 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Then saute the garlic with the bell peppers and onions for about 1 minute. Next, add a half a cup of chicken broth and 2.5 and cups of heavy cream. Mix everything together until well combined and then bring your mixture to a simmer. Continue to cook the sauce until it starts to become thick. Once the sauce starts to become thick, gradually mix in 1.5 cups of Parmesan cheese. Once the Parmesan cheese has melted and mixed into the sauce, lower the heat and then add a half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth teaspoon of Old Bay. Mix the seasonings into the sauce and then add one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. Once you have finished making the sauce, you can begin assembling your lasagna. 
First, grease a baking dish with olive oil or nonstick spray. Next, add a thin layer of sauce to the bottom of the pan. When you're finished, add a layer of lasagna noodles. Then add a layer of ricotta using half of the ricotta mixture. Next, add a layer of seafood using half of the seafood mixture. After you finish adding the seafood, add a layer of sauce using half of the sauce. Make sure to spread the sauce out evenly. Then add a layer of shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, repeat the same layers as before. So, add another layer of lasagna noodles, another layer of ricotta using the rest of the ricotta mixture, another layer of seafood using the rest of the seafood mixture, Another layer of sauce using the rest of the sauce. And last but not least, a layer of mozzarella cheese on top. Once you have finished assembling your lasagna, place it into the oven at 375 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Let the lasagna rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, sprinkle some parsley on top, and then you are all finished. And this is the finished result! This lasagna was absolutely delicious. It was creamy, cheesy, and there was a piece of seafood in every bite. The lasagna was also rich and packed full of flavor. If you love seafood and lasagna, this recipe is perfect for you. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!